Uh, best greetings from Denmark, from LCNI. Mm -hmm. And uh, happy to join you for three evenings. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I don't have to take the lift up to the sixth floor and all that. <laughs> I can just sit down and talk. Nice. Okay, tonight, um, that's afternoon here, but it's night at your place. Mm -hmm. Just read a verse from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7. Yeah, where Peter wrote this, uh, the end of all things is at hand, therefore be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. Mm -hmm. Uh, sorry, I, I need to see it. Yes, first Peter 4 7. That can be hard to manage. Need to repeat this during the show. Oh, extra. Sorry. No problem. Take your time. No rush. First Peter four seven, the culmination of all things is at hand. Therefore, be self-controlled and sober-minded for the sake of your prayers. So I like I like this translation talking about the culmination of all things. Some translations say the end of all things. But I prefer the culmination. And it's like things are more and more, more, and more intense. Uh, uh, now the virus has been there years ago. It was a financial crisis. And now there is this wave about Black Lives Matter all over the world. So it's, it's like there is a culmination and acceleration or in, intensification of things in the world. Mm -hmm. And then Peter said, that because of that, we have to stay calm. Because we can become agitated. We can become worried. For ourselves, for our health, for our children. For justice, for safety. But Peter said, please stay calm, control yourself, control your thoughts, control your emotions. For you, for the sake of your prayers. Because if we are caught by all this, and, and we become agitated and worried, and anxious, then all that will invade our prayer life. But we sh it should not be the case. We have to stay calm. We have to pay attention to what God says. We have to pay attention to what the fathers say in the house. We have to dig into God's thoughts for our, for our time. And, and that's what we have to pray for. So we should not 
we should not. That's Elsa. <laughs> she has to wait. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we have to stay calm and be sober-minded. Otherwise, all these things happening will invade our prayer life. It's not because our prayer lives will become wrong. We will pray wrong prayers. But it's because there are prayers which are more important than praying for these issues. Because when darkness increases, uh, light will increase as well. Light. The, dark, the darker the night is, the brighter the stars are shining. That's why in another place in, in Peter's letter, he said, uh, there will be a morning star shining in our heart until mm -hmm. the new day comes. So there's a but the morning star is a small star. It's not like the sun, it's a very small star. Mm -hmm. So it can be easily overwhelmed by the darkness of the night. So, so we have to pay attention to that morning star. Because that's a signal that the, a new day is coming. A breakthrough is coming. So my my word, my two words tonight is to pay attention. And, and, the, and the more things happen around us, the more difficult it is to pay attention to what is most important. I mean, here in Denmark, 90% uh, 90, 90 of the news on TV is about Corona mm. and, and Black Lives Matter. coronavirus So the, the voices of the media is overwhelming. That's why we have to pay attention to what God says, to his voice. Pay attention to the voice of God in, inside your heart, inside your spirit. And pay attention to the voice of the fathers in the house. And for the sake of your prayers, for the sake of uh, your priorities, your, uh -huh. your mind, your thoughts, and your emotions. So pay, paying attention is even more important now than ever before. And um, so, um, so let me give you some few thoughts about paying attention. And, and especially why pay attention? It's not only because so much is happening in the world, in the nation, because that's not the most important thing. We must pay attention because God is alive. We have to lift our eyes and look at him. 
бид хараага өргөөд түүнийг харах хэрэгтэй. As uh, I think it's the letter to the Colossians chapter 3 verse 1. Колосой 3-ийн 1 дээр байдаг шиг санаж байна. Fix your eyes and set your minds on heaven on things above. Дээгүрх зүйлс дээр оюун бодлоо төвлөрөл хараага төвлөрөл гэсэн баг. Jesus who is resurrected sitting at the right hand of the Father. Иесус дахин амьдлаад эцгийн баруун гар талд залрсан байна. Whatever the turbulence is in the world, the Father is still on the throne, the Son is still alive on the right hand of the Father. Mhm. Тэгэхээр газар дэлхийд дээр ямар ч одоо шуурга болж байсан эцэг хаа сентидээ сууж байна. Хүү түүний баруун гар талд залрсан байна. And when Paul wrote that we have to fix our eyes, Paul ингэж хэлэхдээ хацаа түүн дээр төвлөрүүл гэж хэлэхдээ. It's because he knew that it will take an action, you know, a determined action to do that. We have to fix it. Ингэж хэлсэн нь ямар учиртай вэ гэхээр энэ бид нараас одоо шийдэмгүй тийм алхам гарах тийм үйлдлийг шаардсан тийм үг байгаад байгаа хэвээр хараагаа төвлөрүүлээ гэж. He knew about that. He knew that it can be so difficult to fix our eyes on a certain spot. Тодорхой нэг хэсэг нэг ямар нэг зүйл дээр хараагаа төвлөрүүлэх нь эднэрт маш хэцүү байх болно, хэцүү тийм цаг үе ирэх болно гэдгийг Павл мэдчихсэн байна. For example when he was with Silas in the prison in Philippi. Жишээлбэл нөгөө нэг Silas жих юм билээж. In the book of Acts they were in prison. Тэгээ өөс номон дээр шоронд ордог шүү дээ. And the Bible says at midnight they were а библ дээр юу гэж хэлсэн гэхээр шүн дунд тэд бурхныг магтжээ гэдэг. And I I sense that midnight was not only the clock midnight it was also emotional midnight. Тэр шүн дунд гэдэг нь зөвхөн одоо цаг хугацааны хувьд шүн байгаа зөвсөгөө тэдний зүрх сэтгэл нь одоо тэдний нөхцөл байдал нь тийм шүн дунд шиг байсан байна гэж би бодож байна. These two men to raise their voices in worship in the prison at midnight in хоёр хүн шорон дотор шүн дунд дуу голоо өргөөд бурхныг магтсан байна. That demands that requires an ability to fix your eyes. Ингэж чадахын тулд хүн үнэхээр харцаа төвлөрүүлсэн байх шаардлагатай байна. It demands to control your thoughts and just think about the resurrected Christ. Өөрийнхөө оюун бодлыг захираад хянаад зөвхөн дахин амьсан Есүс дээр төвлөрүүлэх хэрэгтэй байна. So we have to pay attention because God is alive. Бурхан амьд учраас бид анхааралтай байх хэрэгтэй. God thinks. Бурхан бодож байгаа. God speaks. Тэр ярьж байгаа. God does. Тэр хийж байгаа. God moves. Тэр хөдөлж байгаа. God makes plans. Тэр төлөвлөгөө гаргадаг. He is beyond all what happens. Болж байгаа бүх зүйлээс илүү агуу нэг юм бол тэр юм аа. So heaven is active. Тэр мөнхий ус итгэхтэй байгаа. And we must fix our eyes on that. And бид энэ мөнхий ус ажил дээр хараагаа төвлөрүүлэх хэрэгтэй. So that's one reason why we have to pay attention. Тэр бид яагаад анхаарлаа төвлөрүүлэх ёстой вэ нэг шалтгаан нь энэ байна. Because nations are moving, finances are moving, viruses are moving, mm -hmm. but God is moving too. And the snow is just a virus, a virus is all mass, all the other things are going to be broken, so it's not going to be able to do it. That's one reason why we should pay attention. Another reason I was thinking about today is this. So another thing I was thinking about today is this. So another thing I was thinking about today because we are important in God's plans. Бурхны төлөвлөгөөн дотор бид нар чухал учраас анхааралтай байх хэрэгтэй. Okay, not not as a, not only as a human person. Тэгээд зүгээр одоо би маа учраас чухал байгаад байгаа биш. Because the Bible says the human life is like grass. One day it's alive, next day it's gone. Тэгээ яг тэр Библ дээр хүний амьдрал бол яг өвстэй адил хаа нэг өдрийн дотор шатаад алга болно гэсэн баг. But we are not only grass. Тэгээ бид нар бол өвснүүд биш. There is a kingdom seed in our heart. Бидний зүрхэнд хаачлын үр байгаа. Christ is Christ is shaped in in inside our inner man. Христ бидний дотор хэлбэрч хэлбэрчигдэж байгаа, бийжиж байгаа. And we have a role to play in God's plans. 
тэгэхээр бурхны төлөвлөгөөн дотор бидний хийх хэвээр үүрэг хариуцлага бай оролцох хэвээр That's why we have to pay attention to ourselves. Тийм учраас бид өөр өөрөө өөртөө анхааралтай байх хэрэгтэй. And uh, let me give you a verse. Uh, that in Acts chapter 20 ул хор Acts chapter 20 verse 28 хори Okay There was some turbulences Paul was leaving the place he was on the way to Jerusalem Paul нэг газраас гараад Иерусалим руу явж исэн байгаа and he knew that he will be in prison there will be afflictions and turbulences аха тэр тэр шорон түүний хүлээж байгааг мэдчих исэн үнэхээр шуурга дэгтэй гэдэг тэр мэдчих исэн he will miss them they will miss him тэр орхиод явж байгаа хүмүүсээ санана гэдгийг мэдчих исэн тэр хүмүүс ч паулыг санана гэдгийг паул so he verse 28 he said Тийм учраас энэ 28 дугаар ихчлэл дээр тэр ингэж хэлсэн байна. Be careful attention to yourselves. Аха. Өөрөө өөртөө анхааралтай бай. Which means okay, I'm leaving, there will be there will be turbulences and trials, but you must you must pay attention to yourself. Тийм юу гэсэн үг гэхээр шуурга болж болно те янз бүрийн үйл явдлууд тохиолдож болно. Гэхдээ та нар өөрөө өөрсдөө анхааралтай хянамгаа байх хэвээр гэж хэлсэн. Christ lives in you. Яа тэр Христ чиний дотор амьдарч байгаа. The kingdom seed is in your heart. Таны зүрхэн хаачлын үр байгаа. It can be small, it can be big, but it's alive. Аха, том жижиг байхаас үл хамаарад тэр үр бол амьд үр юм. A person can be small, a person can be tall, a person can be young, a person can be old, but life is still there. So careful attention to yourselves. And if you go to the end of the chapter, Paul left them. And the Bible says that there were there were much weeping. Тэгэд Библ үү ч хэсэг хэр маш их гашуудсан гэж хэлсэн маа. Paul knew that it will happen. Тэр Паул ийм зүйл болно гэдэг анхнаас мэдчихсэн. That's why he said pay attention to yourself. Don't 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 become depressed or overwhelmed by the turbulences. Тэгм учраас Паул тэдэнд хэлсэн байгаа өөртөө анхааралтай хянамгаа бай. Битгий шуургны шуургын одоо энэ өрнж байгаа үйл явдлуудын шуурганд битгий автараа гэж хэлсэн байна. So that's, my, that's another reason why we should pay attention is because we are important. Тэгэхээр бид нар чухал учраас анхааралтай байх хэрэгтэй, анхааралтай хандуулах хэрэгтэй. You know when it comes to Christ and us there are two sides of that issue. За тэгэхээр бидний дотор байгаа христийн тухайд хоёр одоо тухайд хоёр тал байна. One side is we are in Christ. Нэвтлэн нь юу гэхээр бид христ дотор байгаа? And that's because of what God did for us. Үүнийг бурхан бурхны хийсэн ажлын улмаас ийм болсон. We don't we didn't have to do a lot. God did everything. Бид нар нэг их юм хийгээгүй бурхан бүгдийг хийсэн. So he positioned us in Christ. Тэр бидний христ дотор байш болсон. Okay. Mm-hmm. The other side of the issue is this. The nugotl new way here is Christ in us. Christ or a bit need to draw. So when it comes to we in Christ, God fixed that. God arranged that. Uh huh. Bit Christian daughter Baran Yerusha Bokhni Tzakhan Barosun Bokhni his Najilaga. Ini Bokhni Hige Tosson. Yeah. But when it comes to Christ in us, in me. Uh huh. Her mini daughter or a Christian to what? I am the one to make space for him. Би түүнд орон зай өгөхстой, орон зай гаргаж өгөх ёстой нэгнэнд бий байгаа. I am in charge. Хариуцлагатай нэгнэнд бий байгаа. God will never force himself on us. Тэр хизээч хүчээр бидний дотор орж ирэхгүй. I have to make space for him. Харин би түүнд өөрөө гаргаж өгөх ёстой. I have to invite him, I have to welcome him. Би түүнийг өөрч оруулах ёстой. I have to receive what he says. 
Not only listen to it, but receive it. Not only receive it, but respond to it and say, yes, I will, I will walk in that. So we in Christ, God decided that. But Christ in us, we decide that. If we just make small space for him, there will be a little Christ in us. A lot of me and a little of Christ. <laughs> but the more space I give him, the more we will be of him, the less of me. So that's Christ in me. I'm in charge of that. So that's my responsibility. And I think the more the better. We can agree about that one. <laughs> I think it was John the Baptist who said, he must increase, I must decrease. So that's, that's the plan. So pay careful attention to yourselves. Make more space for him. Pay attention to what to his voice inside your heart, your spirit. We as fathers in the church, as we preach, as we as we explain the word, we don't do the whole work. We open doors. But then everybody has to walk in. So the, the pastors can preach Sunday morning. Speak the word. We open our heart, we receive, we respond. But then the following days we have to enter that room. We have to think, we have to listen again. We have to read the Bible. Bible The whole Bible. Bible Be diligent with that. Uh, I heard, who was it I heard the other day on Facebook? I think it was John B.V. actually. Uh, John B.V. in Facebook. <coughs> and he said that in America, something like only 23% of the believers read the Bible once a week. Oh my, how can we change the nation? What, what will happen to us if we just breathe once a week? <laughs> or eat once a week? <laughs> and uh, so that's a part of paying attention to us. We have to nurture ourselves. And feed ourselves. <laughs> That's another reason why we, sh we must pay attention. Sunday morning, when Pastor Baggy, Pastor Suda are speaking, don't just look at your computer and, you know, dream about <laughs> holiday or whatever. <laughs> Actually, I saw one of my friends, he, he's attending another church here in, in town. Mm -hmm. And they have the live stream uh, meeting. 
There was a photo on, on his Facebook, Facebook wall. I saw his feet on the floor. I saw coffee and cakes and bread and chocolate on the table. Then I saw the TV on the wall with the live stream from the church. Yeah, thinking, oh God, this is not good. That's not okay. Why? Because God speaks, God moves. Because we have to feed ourselves well. When, when our children speak, they should not, you know, look at iPhone while they, no, when, when our children eat, they should not look at TV or iPhones, they should eat and eat. So pay attention to yourself. When the pastor is preaching, you you wait with the tea, the coffee, and the, whatever it is. The pastor Because every word is food. Yeah, Every word is vitamin. Every word is an injection of divine health to your mind, to your heart, to your emotions. Every word is an injection of hope and, 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 and peace and courage and joy. Yeah. So that was another reason why we should pay attention. Because if we don't, we just harm ourselves. Okay. Let me give you another, a third reason why we should pay attention. We must pay attention because we are examples for others. Parents are examples for their children. So if the parents are not attentive when the pastor is speaking on live stream, the children will think, oh, that's not important. Mm-hmm. But if you see, if they see that the parents are attentive and take notes and, and, and you are quiet and listening. Then they will, they will pick up the, the, the mindset, the culture. And... Uh, yeah. So we are examples for others. Uh, maybe last thought. We have to pay attention to one another in the house. If you go to back to First Peter chapter four. And verse. From verse 7 again. The culmination of all things is at hand. Be self controlled, sober minded for the sake of your prayers. Which means pay attention to God, pay attention to yourself. But then verse 8. Above all, keep loving one another earnestly. 
юуны өмнө би бийнэ халуунаар хайрал verse 9 show hospitality to one another гомдлохгүйгээр би биэндээ зочлонтгой бай now that has been difficult because of the corona corona гэж болмаас одоо зочлонтгой байх гэж жоохон хэцүү байна now is is becoming easier is becoming easier яа одоо арай сулрч байгаа So Peter said, pay attention to God, pay attention to yourself, be self-controlled, be sober-minded, and pay attention to one another, love one another. Peter, you go chill, chill, chill. But when the hard to handle, or the hard to handle, or you go here, you will find the way. Be be in the hard to handle. Visit somebody, invite somebody, call somebody. Be be to the old, be be to the tired, be be to the old. Verse ten. Arvastel. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another. At the home, for who can have some bigger and nigging in the wood chips. So each has received a gift. The home does not be the who can have some some. And if each has received a gift, each has some something to give to somebody else. Who can be the who can have some getting used to her? Who can do all he need to do? Your banner suit. So don't wait for somebody to give to you. Give to somebody. Тэгэхээр хин нэг нь надад өгөх ёстой байна гэд битгий суугаараа өөрөө та хүн хин нэг нь дүг. Give a word, give a phone call. Дуул одоо нэг уцаар залах те. Яаж give a visit, you know. Айлчил би биийнхараа. Because we are, we must be good towards of God's varied grace, Bible says. Мм би бид юу гэж хэлж байна хэр учрын бид бурхны олон төрлийн нэгүүслийн сайн яруууд нь юм аа гэсэн. Whoever speaks mm -hmm. as one who speaks oracles of God. So we can give words. God reminds you of somebody, then pray for the person or call that person and give a good word. Whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies. Uh, uh, if somebody needs babysitting, then serve them and say, "Okay, I will take your children. Have a walk." Mm -hmm. So whoever serves as one who serves by the strength that God supplies. So God supplies strength. Тэгэхээр бурхны тэтгэдэг хүчээр үйлчлэх гэсэн байгаа. Бурхан тэгэхээр хүчээр тэтгэдэг байх нь. So we have to pay attention to God, pay attention to ourselves. Тэгэхээр бид бурханд анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй, өөртөө анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. Because we examples for others. Яа, тэгэхээр бид бусдын даган дөрөх үлгэр загвар юм. And pay attention to one another. Би биэнд анхаарлаа хандуулах. And the final one is pay attention at your workplace. Because sometimes we can be so work focused. So we don't see people. But God wants our lives to touch people's lives. Харин бурхан бидний амьдралыг бусдын амьдралд хүрдэг байгаасаа гэж хүсэж байна. So pay attention to people. Нэр хүмүүст анхаарал хандвал. Sometimes we we in supermarket and we just we are so focused on what to buy and how to buy and we have to run home because we have to make food. Mm -hmm. Жишээлбэл бид нар одоо дэлгүрт явж байгаа та юу авах вэ яаж авах вэ орой очиод ямар хоол авах хийх вэ гэд яарж байгаа учраас амар тэрэн дээр төвлөрцөн явж идэг. And we might not see people around us. Эрийн тойронд байгаа хүмүүс анзаардгүй. So we must pay attention to people. Тэр бид нар хүмүүс анхаарал анхаарах хэрэгтэй хүмүүсийг анхаарах хэрэгтэй. That's the message for tonight. За өнөөдөр миний хуваалцах зүйл энэ байла. It said so many things happen it's communicating it's is more and more intense and complex. Peter хэлж байна тий бүх юм давхцаад бүх юм зэрэгцээд одоо учир нь олдохгүй дэндүү яшигт төвхтэй болно гэдэг тэр мэдэж исэн байна. And they were in the dispersion. Тэгээд тэд нар тархсан байсан дээрээс нь. They were separated. 
Parents were separated from children. Peter says, stay calm, control yourself, be sober. Uh -huh. In the middle of all that, you know what to pay attention to. God, yourself, be the ones you are an example for. Chamas, attention to your fathers, to your brothers, sisters. Uh -huh. And uh, pay attention to people around you in your everyday life. At work, in the street, in the supermarket. There might be, if you pay attention, you might think, whoa, that person, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's why God has placed us, not on the in a cave on the mountain, but in a city. <laughs> so we can carry a fragrance of God everywhere we go. And sometimes it can be very simple. Sometimes people can look so tensed. And if you just say hello and smile to them, the, the face melts totally. Because they are worried, they are concerned, they are tensed. Yeah, because they are tensed. Sometimes it's amazing what just a word can do. Just a word. Say hello. And people say, oh, yeah, yeah, hello, by the way, you know. <laughs> Because they are on, on the, in, in their own world of family, work, work. Oh, you're not sitting at all right now. You're going to turn on the clock. You must think it's not just a clock. That's my word tonight. Attention. God is in control. He builds the church, he builds our lives, he speaks. He invests in our lives. He gives us, he gives us new insight. And uh, he is, he's wonderful. So I think I kept the time frame almost. <laughs> Welcome to everybody. Yesterday I spoke about. Um, why we should pay attention. And it's because of who the Father is. Because his words are important, his thoughts are important. We must pay attention because, because we are important as well in his plans. And, and because he has invested in our lives. And we have to pay attention because we are example for others. So we have to be conscious of that. And also say that we have to be to pay attention because God has located us in places where He wants to reach somebody else. Yeah. So, so we have to pay attention to people around us. 
Мөн бид нэр өөрсдөө иргэн тойронд байгаа хүмүүс анхаарлаханд болгосон. Because we are not just at work for work. Бид нэр ажил дээр зөвхөн ажлаа ихийн тулд байгаа юм биш. We are not just at work for for salary. Бид нэр зөвхөн цалин авахын тулд бас тэнд байгаа даа. We are not living in an apartment just for the apartment. Бид нэр орон суудсанд амьдрахдаа зөвхөн тэр орон суудсанд амьдрахын тулд бас байгаа юм биш. We are there because there is a people environment around us. Яагаад гэвэл бид нэр тэнд байгаа нь бидний иргэн тойронд бидний тойроод хүмүүс байгаа учраас бид нэр тэнд байрлуулагдсан байгаа юм. That was the message yesterday. Би өчигдөр энэ талаар ярьсан байгаа. Өчигдөр I will continue to talk about paying attention. За би үргэлжлүүлээд анхааралтай байх талаар үргэлжлүүлээ ярина. And and what do we have to pay attention to? Бид нэр яг юунд анхаарах ёстой вэ талаар өнөөдөр яриа. And when when I ask myself the question this morning what should I pay attention to? Би өнөөдөр өглөө өөрөөсөө ингэж асуусан би яг юунд анхаарлаа хандуулсан байх хэвээр вэ? One word came to me. Тэгээд надад нэг үг ирсэн. And it's the word wisdom. Энэ бол л үнэхээр мэрэгэн ухааны үг байсан. We have to pay attention to wisdom. Бид нар мэрэгэн ухаанд анхаарлаа хандуулах хэвээр. So tonight I want to talk about wisdom. Өнөөдөр би мэрэгэн ухааны талаар ярина энэ өөр. Because we need wisdom. Яагаад гэвэл бид нар мэрэгэн ухаан үнэхээр хэрэгтэй. And and God knows we need wisdom. Бурхан бид нарт мэрэгэн ухаан хэрэгтэй гэдгийг мэддэг. That's why God said uh, through James if somebody lacks wisdom please ask for it. Тийм болохоор бурхан хэлсэн хэрвээ хин нэгэнд нь мэргэн ухаан хэрэгтэй бол мэргэн ухааныг гоюун залбираа гэж хэлсэн байдаг. And to whom ask for wisdom it will be given to him and to her. Тэгээ хин мэргэн ухааны гоюун тэр хүнд өгөгдөх болно гэсэн байдаг. Generously richly маш өгөөмрөөр and without blame without reproach. Ямар ч буруутгалгүйгээр тэр хүмүүс өгдөх болно гэсэн байт. God will not blame us for the lack of wisdom. Бид нарт мэрэгэн ухаан байхгүй улмаас бурхан бид нарыг шийдэгдгүү, буруутгадгүй. God will never say how come you don't know that. Чи яагаад идрэг мэддэггүй бэ гэж бурхан хизээч бид нарт хэлэхгүй. How come you're not sharper than that? How come you're not clearer than that? Чи яагаад энэ зүйл дээр хурц байж чаддгүй яагаад энийг тодорхой ойлгоогүй юм бэ гэж бурхан бид нар үзэж байгаа. The father for wisdom he will not blame us. Бурхнаас бид нар мэрэгэн ухааны гуйхад бурхан бид нар сэг буруутгахгүй. There will be no reproach, no accusation. Ямар ч буруутгал тийм зүйл байхгүй. He will give generously, richly. Тэр маш өгөөмөр баянаар бид нарт мэрэгэн ухааны өгөх юм аа. So God knows we need wisdom. Тэгэхээр бурхан бидэнд мэрэгэн ухаан хэрэгтэй гэдгийг мэддэг. But God wants us to seek wisdom. Харин бурхан бурхан бидний мэрэгэн ухааныг хайгаасаа гэж хүсдэг. And when God gives wisdom, he wants us to pay attention to wisdom. Тэгээ бурхан бидэнд мэрэгэн ухааныг өгж байгаа юм бол тэр мэрэгэн ухаан дээр анхаарлаа хандуулаасаа гэж хүсдэг. So tonight I want to I want to share with you some thoughts I've received today about wisdom. Би өнөөдөр мэрэгэн ухааны талаар хүлээж авсан хідэн бодлоо та нартай өнөөдөр хуваалцахыг хүсэж байна. I think I have mentioned for you I think it was in a video that that uh, the, the verses from Job 28. За Йов 28 дугаар үлгээс ярьж ирсэн нэг би санаж өмнө нь in in Job 28 Йов 28 дээр There is uh, verse 1 and verse 2. Нэг хоёр дугаар ишлэл. Surely there is a mine for silver. You know. Excuse me. Uh, chapter 28 verse 1. There is a mine for silver. За энэ хоёр их дээр ярьж байгаа. Do you have that? Yeah, 29:1. Right? Oh, it's 29 in the Mongolian Bible. Okay, no problem. No, no, no. Ah, 28. There is a mine for silver, there is a place for gold. Mungni Orha Botang Artic Sivishulta Kazar Zeshu Betak. 
And in and in verse twelve, uh, Job continues, but where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? So gold and silver is connected with wisdom and understanding. So we can we can we can uh, how can I say that? We understand that wisdom is not cheap. It's like gold and silver. It's in valuable. In you so we can mirgo hana team hampton zul pesinotiak at monk tet hunting moons in take it as watcha. And that's why it's a mine. There is a place for gold. So we have to dig deeper to find it. Uh, so it's not cheap. We have to make some, it takes an effort to, to get it. And that's why So when we ask for wisdom, we have to keep asking for wisdom. Which means there must be an, an effort from our side. So we don't ask for wisdom one day, and then we ask for money next day, then we ask for uh, help a third day, and we have different needs on different days. Wisdom is a special issue and we should keep asking for it. We must make an, a, an ongoing effort to get it. Not because God is stingy. Not because God is, God is generous. And he always gives more than we ask for. But, but the Father wants to see that attitude that we really, really, really want to receive wisdom. So he wants to see that effort from, from our side. When Corona is over, you, we have to meet in church again Sunday morning. And don't think it, it was more easy when Corona was there because we could follow from home and drink coffee and eat cake and listen to the pastors. Now we have to leave home, we have to take the bus, we have to drive, we have to get to church for the meeting. Of course, not for Amy in South Korea. That's different. But for the rest of you, there is an effort. But even for her, there is an effort also to keep connected. To go to the YouTube channel and connect and listen to it and pay attention. So I believe that where there is an effort, there is a great reward. Great reward. Reward, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so wisdom is not cheap. It will take some investment from us, from our hearts. The second thought which came to me today was this. 
Wisdom is not for fixing immediate needs. Яг одоо байгаа хэрэгцээг хангахын тулд мэргэн ухаан хэрэгтэй биш. But it is for shaping lives. Харин мэргэн ухаан нь амьдралыг хэлбэржүүлэхэд хэрэгтэй юм When we have an immediate need, we can ask God to help us. Тэг бид нарт яг одоо яаралтай хэрэгцээ байгаа бол бид нар бурхнаас тусламж гуйж болно. But that's not that's not wisdom. That's just help for need. In other words, wisdom is a different has a different nature. Mirgun ukhan dal mash or team ung turkte mirgun ukhan. That's why children grow up in a family for eighteen twenty years. Yagel huk tu tigirte. So we can build wisdom into them, shape their lives. Then maybe they move from home. Maybe they call one day for because there is an immediate need. And we can answer the call and help with to help fixing the immediate need. The yarlta toslam ju wal pitner ustar yere tenge toslam ju zulch pasn bukhtu. But through the 18-19 years at home, we invested wisdom into them. Harin tir aro namas harin jilin toshut al pitner titni doctor mirgo ukhanik. That's the nature of wisdom. In other words, ухааны одоо nature the nature. That's why that's why we teach wisdom. We don't just tell wisdom. I can tell you how to fix the car. But maybe, but maybe I can, maybe I can teach you how to drive the car safely. That's teaching. That's not just telling. Okay. okay. Let me give you another issue regarding wisdom. Wisdom is for transfer. It's not only for you to receive and keep for yourself. So when we ask for wisdom and we receive wisdom, it shapes our lives. But we should not be the end of it. That river must pass through us. So we should not be a blind road, a blind street with no, no exit. Okay? So wisdom is not only for you, it's for transfer. That's, that's very important. Um, are you still with me? Yes. So we that's why we have to pay attention to wisdom. Because it's so valuable. And uh, we have to seek for it. And it will be given to us. We cannot take it. Okay, Proverbs chapter 8. Proverbs, book of Proverbs chapter 8. Verse 17. In this verse, it's wisdom which is talking. 
And wisdom says, I love those who love me and I love those who seek me diligently and find me. So, so wisdom is like a person. Like a friend, like a companion in our lives. Who is calling us again and again, come and seek me. Love me. Seek me, love me, value me. And if you do that, it will be given to you. If you do that, it will be given to you. Okay, let me give you another thought I had this morning. Wisdom must be guarded. You understand that? Wisdom Guard. must be guarded. We must keep it. Ah, we must lay hold of it. Okay. Proverbs chapter 6. Verse 21. Bind it on your heart always. So we have to bind it to our hearts. So, so it, it, it takes an action from our side, you know. And then you have to tie it around your neck. Not to strangle you. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know why, the neck, maybe to have it close to your brain, to your head. <laughs> maybe close to your ears, so you can hear wisdom all the time. Maybe it was today, the, the Bible would say, have it like headphones on your ears. So wisdom must be kept, must be guarded. That's why we have to pay attention. Because there is so much wisdom available for us. And we must pay attention to it. Uh, there was one more thing here. Uh, chapter 8, Proverbs chapter 8. Now you can read the book of Proverbs. The first 10 chapters is, speaks about wisdom a lot. Um, chapter 8, verse 17. Verse 18. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. Which, which means wisdom has friends. So when wisdom comes, wisdom will bring her friends with her. That's why wisdom says, riches and honor are with me. Yes, wealth and righteousness are with me. 
So when the more wisdom flows into our lives, the more wisdom will bring her friends with her. Like if I come and visit you, I might bring some friends with me. And if I am your friend, my friends will be your friends too. So I believe wisdom brings honor, wisdom brings wealth, wisdom brings righteousness and greatness. Okay. Maybe one, one more thought. I hope, it, I hope it makes sense. I want to make you hungry for wisdom. Sometimes we are hungry for help. <laughs> and, and it's, it's legitimate, it's okay, because when we need help, we need help. But I believe we should dig deeper than, than being helped. Uh, we need wisdom. And uh, one more thought is, wisdom will bring more wisdom. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 9. Which says, give instruction to a wise man and he will be even wiser. So the more you the more you draw wisdom into your heart and bind it to your heart. The more understanding you receive. The more clear you are. It will bring more clarity. And for much Tatarha Batli, Osam Isu Tatarha Batli after all. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. So, so that's why when, when God gives us understanding and insight, we must really, really, really pay attention to it. Because it's so valuable. Help in a needy situation is just help for a moment and for one situation. But wisdom is eternal, it's for life. That's why we have to pay attention. I want to encourage you more than encourage you, I want to motivate you. <laughs> to ask for wisdom and keep asking for wisdom. And walk in wisdom. And even love wisdom. Uh, there is a place in Proverbs. I mean, you can read Proverbs. It's full of, full of gold and silver. <laughs> so you can just begin. If you don't know where to write, read the Bible in this season, you can read the first 10 chapters of Proverbs and take notes. Because it's all about wisdom. It, it was so important that Solomon received from his father David. Solomon, David, Yeah, the Bible says, he said, when I was a son with my father, he taught me. And, and the word teach 
means he, he, the word teach has to do with wisdom. Who says Solomon says? Okay, let me see. In chapter 4, verse 2, verse 3. Chapter 4, verse 3. Mm -hmm. When I was a son with my father, when I was a son with my father, the only one in the sight of my mother, he taught me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So teaching has to do with giving wisdom. Because teaching is an ongoing process. So when Solomon said, my father taught me, it has to do with wisdom. And in verse 1, Chapter 4, verse 1. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Solomon says, Hear, O sons, a father's instruction and be attentive. In the Nigerish little Solomon Hilchin, who good mean it's he has or him jigs and such. So here we have three generations. In the Ormon Wipe, Solomon is in, in the middle. Solomon yet cotton and get pigeons of change to his son. Listen to your father. Which means listen to me. And he said, but when I was a boy, my father taught me. So he said, my father taught me and now I teach you. So we have three generations. And wisdom is transferred from generation to generation. Are you, are you, are you there? Yes. So it shows us how valuable wisdom is. Okay. And um, now I will close with these, the verses at the end of chapter 4. Verse 20. My son, be attentive to my words. Here again we have pay attention, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. So keep them close to you. Keep them within your heart. So wisdom is kept in our heart. Then verse 23. Keep your heart. You Keep your heart with all diligence. So, what is it Solomon says? In Solomon, you He said to his son, "Receive wisdom from me, like I receive wisdom from my father." Don't let it go. Keep it to your heart. And, and then he said, but keep your heart clean. So, receive wisdom. Keep it into your heart. But keep your heart clean. Because if your heart is not clean, God's wisdom will be polluted. That's why Solomon deviated from God's agenda. 
he had a lot of wisdom. People came even from other nations to sit at his feet to listen to his wisdom. The Queen of Sheba came to listen to his wisdom. But Solomon was deviated. Not because he had a lot of wisdom. Because his heart was deviated. The Bible says that his wives did turn his heart away from God. So we have to understand that. Because sometimes I've, I've heard Christians say, we must not be too wise. We, we don't need a lot of understanding and insight. Because it will, it will take us away from God. And then they say, look at Solomon. He was a wise man, but he left God. He left God's agenda, God's assignment. It was not wisdom which deviated him. It was his heart. His heart had been polluted. So it's always the heart which deviates us. So we need wisdom, we need understanding, we need insight, but it has to come into a clean heart. That's what Solomon said to his son, watch your heart. More than anything else. So we have to wash our hearts. We have to put a lot of gold and silver and, and understanding into our hearts. So pay attention to your heart and pay attention to when God speaks that it's wisdom for your life. So um, is there anything else I want to say? Uh, you know, when Absalom uh, rebelled against his father, Absalom the Bible says that he stole the hearts of David's men, of his father's men. He said to the people, my father has not time for you. Talk with me. He brought, he brought his horses in the court of the palace to show them how wealthy he was, how powerful he was. And by doing that, he stole the heart of his father's men. That's why the bottom line is always the heart. So I must keep my heart clean. Not let a bitter, a bitter root grow in my heart or disappointments or um, hopelessness. But when I keep my heart clean, I have to pay attention to wisdom so wisdom can fill up my heart. So yesterday I explained to you um, why it is important. 
өчигтөр би тайлбарласан яагаад энэ тийм чухал вэ гэдэг. And today I explain to you the value of wisdom. А өнөөдөр бол би өнөөдөр мэрэгүй ухааны үн цэнийг таадаг тайлбарлаж өглөө. Amen. Amen. So we have to seek wisdom, we have to seek insight, we have to read the Bible. Бид нэр мэрэгүй ухааны гуйх хэрэгтэй, ойлголтыг гуйх хэрэгтэй, бид нэр Библийг унших хэрэгтэй. As I said to you yesterday there was a statistics among American Christians. Өчигтөр би ярьж исэн Америкийн христийн дундх тийм статистик судалгаа ни үрдүний. I think it's 23% of Christians read the Bible once a week. За нийт христ итгэцтийн 23% нь Библийг 7 оногт нэг удаа уншдаг. That type of Christians have no wisdom. Тэр хүмүүст бол мэрэгүй ухаан байхгүй. When they need help, they cry out for help. Тэд нар тусламж хэрэгтэй үед тэд нар тусламж хүсэж уйлдаг. Becomes the 911 ambulance. Яг л нөө төргөн тусламж гойж байгаа юм шиг. But they don't accumulate wisdom. Тэгээ харин нөгөө нэг мэрэгүй ухааныг бид нар хөрөмдлүүлэх хэрэгтэй. The car breaks all the time. And they call the mechanics all the time. Excuse me. I said the car is is breaking down all the time, and they call the mechanics for help all the time. Machine bank is directly hit by the mechanic. He told the bank to bank out. But it's better to accumulate wisdom about how to drive the car. Here in this machine, the bank is directly hit by the current. Machine is just too good for a guy to be able to find solutions there. Instead of breaking it and calling for help all the time. Эвдлэл байнг хүн дуудчих яха орн өөрөө зөв жолоодод явчвал эвдэрэхгүй шүү дээ. I don't I don't condemn Christians but I know that Christians reading the Bible once a week will be never Christ... bring wisdom. Би христийг буруутгаж байгаа юм биш гэхдээ 7 оног нэг удаа Библийг унших юм бол тэнд мэрэгэн ухаан хөрөмдлөгдөх боломжгүй. It's like breathing once a week. Тэнд 7 оног нэг л удаа уншдаг. Or eating once a week. Тий or going to school once a week. Тэр нь яг 7 оногт нэг удаа сургуульд явж байгаатай адилхан. Wisdom comes with accumulation. А мэрэгүй ухаан бол юм хөрөмдлөгдөж хөрөмдлөгддөг юм. That's why we must dig deeper. Тийм болохоор бид нэр гүн гүнзгийгээр ухах хэрэгтэй. That's why we must, must pay attention Sunday morning. Тэгэхээр хаах бүтэн сайны өглөө юу ярьж байна гэдэг дээр үнэхээр анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. Keep our hearts clean. Зүрхээ цэвэр байлах хэрэгтэй. In not think oh Sunday morning again one more sermon one more message one more worship. Оо бүтэн сайн өглөө болчлоо за дахиад махти за дахиад номлох нь байна гэж ингээд. No prepare yourself on Saturday already. Байхынхаа оронд тэр өдөр юу хэлэгдэх нь юу таныр үү ирэх чинь гэдэг дээр өөрийгөө бүр бэлт. And think wow tomorrow morning live stream more wisdom will come. Тэгээ харин маргааш өглөө илүү өшөө их мэрэг ухаан над дээр ирэх болно гэдэг түүндээ өөрийгөө бэлт. I will pay attention. Би анхаарах болно. I will not be disturbed by my smartphone like I was 2 minutes ago. За би уцаа ухаад ингээд суухгүй тэр номлолын үеэр. I'm I'm focused, I'm concentrated because wisdom is like gold. Мэрэг ухаан чи өөрөө юм алчих учраас би түүнд төвлөрөх ёстой түүнийг хүн төл анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. And when wisdom comes, wisdom will bring friends with her. Тэ имэрэгүй ухаан ирэхдээ өөртөө хамт найзуудаа авчирна. We bring greatness, understanding, wealth. Гайхалтай тэр ойлголтыг clarity авчирх болно. It will bring courage, it will bring joy and peace and righteousness. Хайр хөргийг авчирх болно, зөвт байдлыг авчирх болно. We bring God's blessings. Бурхны ерөөлийг тань дээр авчрах болно. It will be in protection. Хамгаалалтыг авчрах болно. There was a verse in Proverbs where the Bible says wisdom will look after you, will guard you. Библ дээр ингэж хэлсэн байдаг сургаалт төгс дээр мэрэгэн ухаан таныг харж халамжилдаг, таныг бүр хамгаалдаг гэж хэлсэн байдаг. So not only we we have to pay attention to wisdom, but wisdom will pay attention to us. Бид нэр мэрэгүй ухаанд анхаарлаа хандуулахын зэрэгцээ мэрэгүй ухаан бид нарт илүү их анхаарлыг хандуулдаг. 
So let's go for wisdom. Not only for ourselves, but also for somebody else. Don't, don't be the end of the river. You know, somebody said that, um, how was that? That the Dead Sea in Israel mm-hmm. is dead because there is a flowing in but no flowing out. So our lives should be like that, flowing in and also flowing out. our children, to our neighbors, to our colleagues. environment. Amen. Amen. So, God bless you. Nice to see you all here on my computer. Long long faces, old faces. Wonderful. Greetings from Elsa and from me. And see you tomorrow. The first night I spoke about why we should pay attention. And I explained that it's because God, God is God, He's in charge. He is the most important person in our lives. And he has plans for our lives. He loves us. That's why we have to pay attention because he is God. He's also the God of heaven and earth. Which means the God of the nations. And what happens in the nations, he's totally in control with that. There is no virus in heaven. There is no financial crisis in heaven. That's why we must pay attention to him. We must pay attention to ourselves. Because we are in Christ, Christ is in us, I explained yesterday. He has made a deposit in our lives. He has put the seed of the kingdom in our lives, in our hearts. Uh, a living seed, an incorruptible seed. A seed which can never be overcome. <laughs> and, and we have to also pay attention to, to our lives because we are examples for others, I said. If we have children, our children observe us consciously or unconsciously. In the church meetings, young people are observing our lives. Consciously or unconsciously. That's why we have to pay attention to our lives. And the last thing was we have to pay attention to people around us. We, we must not be the end of the river. The river has to 
flow on through us to somebody else. Бидний бид нар голын төгсгөл байхаас гүй харин тэр голыг дамжуулан урсгадаг тэр хүмүүст өгдөг тэдгээр хүмүүс байх хэрэгтэй. So paying attention is important. Тэгэхээр анхаарлаа хандуулна гэдэг маань өөрөө маш чухал юм. And I think that's a, a, a feature for adult people. Adult people pay attention. Children don't. Энэ бол насан төрсөн хүмүүсийн мөн чанар. Насан төрсөн хүмүүс анхаарлаа хандуулж чаддаг. Хүүхдүүд бол анхаар төвлөрүүлж чаддаг уу? Mature people pay attention. Өрвөлсөн хүмүүс анхаарлаа хандуулдаг. Because we understand responsibility. Тийм болохоор бид нэр нөгөө хариуцлагыг ухамсарладаг, ойлгодог. We understand that what is there are things which are more important than others. Бид нар зарим зүйл нь зарим зүйлээсээ чухал гэдгийг ойлгож чаддаг. There are things which go deeper than others. Зарим нь зарим зүйлээсээ илүү гүн гүнзгий утгатай гэдгийг ойлгож чаддаг. So that was my my message the first night. За энэ бол миний эхний орой ярьсан. Then yesterday night I spoke about what is the focus of our attention. За өчигдөр болохоор бид нэр анхаарлаа яг юунд хандуулах ёстой вэ гэдэг талаар ярьсан. And what I said was it's wisdom. Тэ бидний анхаарлаа хандуулах ёстой тэр зүйл маань мэрэгэн ухаан гэдэг талаар. God knows that we need wisdom. Бурхан бидэнд мэрэгэн ухаан хэрэгтэй гэдэг мэддэг. We need his thoughts. Тэ бид нар бидэнд түүний бодлоод хэрэгтэй. That's what Jesus said to the disciples. Тэм болохоор Есүс дагалдагч нарта I will not leave you fatherless. Бид нар би таанарыг эцэггүй орхихгүй гэж. I will make sure that wisdom will flow from my father to you. Би мэрэгэн ухаан миний эцгээр дамжуулаад таанарлаа урсан орход анхаар анхаарлаа хандуулна гэж Есүс хэлсэн. Because I will not be with you anymore physically. Яагаад гэвэл би одоо махан биеэрээ таанартай үүнээс хойш хамт байж чадахгүй. But I will send the spirit of truth. Харин би үнний сүнсийг таанарлаа үлгээнэ. He will guide you to all truth. Тэр үнний сүнс таныг бүх үнэн рүү өдөрдөх болно гэсэн. And you shall understand the truth. Тийм болохоор таанар үнийг ойлгох хэрэгтэй. And the truth shall set you free. Тэгээд тэр үнэн таанарыг чөлөөлөх болно гэсэн. Free from confusion. Тийм. Төөрөгдлөөс чөлөөлнө. Free from lack of clarity. Тодорхой бас байдлаас төлчлөөлтөн. And the lack of wisdom. Мэрэгэн мэрэгэн ухаан дутмагдчих байгаа тэр байдлаас чинь чөлөөлнө. That's why the letter of James says that if we lack wisdom we should ask for wisdom. Тийм болохоор Яков домон дээр хэлсэн байгаа. Хэрвээ бид нарт мэрэгэн ухаан дутвал мэрэгэн ухааны гүйж залбира гэсэн. So that's the focus of our attention. Энэ бол бидний анхаарлаа хандуулах ёстой гол цэг. We have to pay attention to God, yes. Бид нар бурханд анхаарлаа хандуулах ёстой. Ourselves. Өөртөө анхаарлаа хандуулах ёстой. People. Хүмүүст анхаарлаа хандуулах ёстой. The focus of our attention is we have we need wisdom. Харин бидний анхаарлын гол цөм нь болохоор мэрэгэн ухаан юм. For ourselves. Би өөрс өөртөө өөртөө for our families өөрийнхөө гэр бүлийн төлөө for our communities өөрийнхөө иргэн тойронд байгаа хүмүүсийн төлөө and tonight i want to add a third aspect of that за би өнөөдөр гурав дах зүйлийг нэмэж хэлмээрэй and i will answer the question where is the wisdom located where is that wisdom за тэр мэрэгэн ухаан яг хаан байдаг юм бэ гэдэг талаар ярилцсан юм хаан байрлал There is a place for wisdom. Тэгэхээр мэрэгэн ухаан байрлах тийм газар байна. In Psalm 103. Дуулал 103. Yeah. 103. Зон гур. Дуулал зон гур. Verse 7. Болдгоор ирчлэл дээр. David wrote David in the English bitsen bay. God made known his acts to the people of Israel, but he made known his ways to Moses. Тэр өөрийн замыг Моосед, өөрийн үйлсийг Израилийн хүүхдүүдэд мэдүүлсэн гэж. So the ways have to do with wisdom. Тэгэхээр тэр 
Yesterday I said that sometimes we need help. We cry out for help. God can intervene and give us help. It's, it's not a way, it's not a road. It's an answer to our cry. So when we need help, we cry for help, God will help us. But we should ask for more than help to fix our needs in our problems. Many times Israel cried out for help. No food. God gave food. No water. God gave water. Bitter water. Then sweet water. All that is not a road, it's not a way, it's just an answer to the cry. And when we need help, we need help. That's okay. But God made known his ways to Moses, which means he made known his wisdom. And wisdom is a road, it's a path, it's a way. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, so where do we find wisdom? We find wisdom in the presence of God. Okay, so we have to seek his face. Not only for our needs, but for wisdom, for the ways. Now, Paul wrote about that in his first letter to the Corinthians. Okay. So we'll go there. First Corinthians chapter 2. Verse 1. And I, when I came to you, brothers, I did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or human wisdom. Then verse 6. Yet among the mature, who are, who are the mature? The mature are people who are seeking for the ways. Mm -hmm. yeah. When our children are small, they ask for help. Daddy, fix my bicycle. Mom, make me some food. I'm hungry. Dad, take me to school. Because they are not mature. The people who are mature, they dig, they dig deeper than that. They want wisdom. Because they know how to fix their problems. So let's be mature. Yes. When we need help, we cry for help, God will help us. But we have to, we have to dig deeper. So God can make known his ways to us. 
Урхан өөрийн замыг бид нарт мэдүүлээсэй. So Paul wrote, yet among the mature we do impart wisdom. Paul энэ хэлж ин бид төлөвшсөн хүмүүсийн дунд мэрэн ухааныг ярьдгаа гэж. Although it is not the wisdom of this age or of the rulers of, it, of this age who are doomed to pass away. Ингэхдээ энэ үеийн мэрэн ухааныг бус өнгөрн одож буй энэ үеийн өдөрдөгчдийн мэрэн ухааныг ч бус. But we impart a secret and a hidden wisdom of God. Харин нууц дотор буй бурхны мэрэн ухааныг бид ярьдгаа. So God has the wisdom which is secret and hidden. Тэн дэхлэр бурханд мэрэн ухаан бай. А тэр мэрэн ухаан нь нууцлагдсан байна. Why is it hidden? Яагаад нууцлагдсан байна вэ гэхээр? It's because God wants us to come to him to get it, not to get it without him. Тэн түүнгүүгээр олдохын тулд биш бид нар тэр мэрэн ухааныг нь авахын тулд бурханд хандаасаа гэж хүссэн учраас тэрийг нууцсан байгаа маа. That's why I like, I like very much the statement which says God does not hide things from us but he hides things for us. Тийм болохоор би энэ үгэнд маш их дуртай бурхан биднээс юмыг нуудаггүй харин бидний төлөө юмыг нуудгаа гэдэг би энэ үгэнд айлтай. Because he wants to give the wisdom inside the relationship not outside the relationship тэр бид нарт мэрэгэн ухааныг өхийг хүсэж байна гэхдээ түүдтэй харилцах харилцаа дотроо өгмөөр байна түүн өөрийг нь гаргаа татсан тэр харилцаанаас мэрэгэн ухааныг өхийг хүсэхгүй байна гэсэн that's why jesus jesus said тийм болохоор есүс ингэж хэлсэн байна i don't call you i don't call you servants i call you friends Би та нарыг зарцнараа гэж хэлсэнгүй боолуудаа гэж хэлчихгүй харин миний найзуудаа гэж дуудя гэсэн. Because servants don't know what the master thinks or say, but the friends they do know that. Харин боолууд бол эзнийхаа юу хийж байгаа, юу хийх гэж байгааг мэддэггүй харин найзууд нь бол мэддэг. So wisdom is given from the father inside the frame of a relationship, of a friendship, of a walk with him on his ways. Тэр мэрэгэн ухаан бид нар бурхантай хамт алхаж байх үед тэр нөхөрлийн дундаас тэр харилцааны дундаас бид нарт үгддэг. Yeah. That's why Paul said it's hidden. Тийм болохоор Павл энд хэлсэн байна. Энэ бол энэ нууцлагдсан байдаг гэж. It's hidden for people who don't walk with him. Тэр нь яагаад вэ гэхээр түүнтэй алхахгүй хүмүүсээс нуухын тулд нууцлагдсан байгаа. Or keep a distance to him. Айсгүй бол түүнээс хол алхдаг хүмүүст олдохгүй тул тэр мэрэгэн ухаан нь нууцлагдсан. For those who walk with him uh, consistently. Харин түүнтэй тогтмол алхдаг тэдгээр хүмүүст бол worship him, love him, honor him. Үүнийг магтдаг, хайрладаг, хүндэлдэг тэдгээр хүмүүст speak with him continuously. Түүнтэй үргэлж ярьжээдэг, харилцжээд зэг тэдгээр хүмүүст for them it will not be hidden. Тэдгээр хүмүүс бол энэ бол нууцлалтай биш. So Paul said we impart a hidden wisdom of God. Тэ энд Павл хэлж байна. Which God Which God decreed before the ages for our glory. Энэ нь бидний алдрын төлөө үеүүдээс ч өмнө бурхны урдаас тогтоогсон нуудвал мэрэгэн ухаан мөө гэж. It's for our glory is not wisdom from us is wisdom for us. Энэ бид одоо бидний алдрын төлөө гэж байгаа байхгүй юу? Verse 8. дээр None of the rulers of this age understood this. Үүнийг энэ үеийн удирдагчдаас хэнэн ч мэдсэнгүй. For if they had they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Хэрвээд үүнийг мэдсэн байсан бол алдрын эзнийг цоглохгүй байх байсан. But as it is written Mm-hmm. What no eye has seen, no ear heard, no the heart of man imagine what God has prepared for those who love him. Гэвч нүдэн дүзэгдээгүй чихэнд сонсогдоогүй хүний санаанд ороогүй юмсыг бурхан өөрийг нь хайрладаг хүмүүс бэлтжээ гэж бичигдсэн ясаар болжээ. So is prepared for those who love him. Энэ түүний хайрладаг хүмүүс бэлтгэсэн, зориулагдсан гэсэн үг. Okay, verse 10. 12-р ишлэл дээр. These things God has revealed to us through the Spirit. 
гэвч бурхан үүнийг сүнсээрээ бидэнд илчилсэн юм аа For the spirit searches everything even the depths of God. Учран сүнс бүх зүйлийг тэр байтгаа бурханы гүн юмсыг ч гэсэн нэвтэлдэг аж гуй. For who knows a person's thoughts except the spirit of that person which is in him? Учран хүний дотор буюу сүнснээс нөөр хүний бодол санааг хэм мэдэх вэ? So also no one comprehends the thoughts of God except the spirit of God. Түүнчлэн бурхныхыг бурхны сүнснээс өөр хэм хинч мэддэггүй. Now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit who is from God that we might understand the things freely given us by God. Бурхан бидэнд үнгүй өгсөн юмсыг мэдхийн тулд бид ертөнцийн сүнсийг бус харин бурхнаас ирсэн сүнсийг хүлээн авсан юм аа. And then verse 13 and we impart this in words not taught by human wisdom but taught by the spirit interpreting spiritual truths to those who are spiritual. Бид үүний хүний мэрхэн ухаан ухааны сургасан үгсээр бус харин сүнсний сургаснаас ярьдаг бөгөөд сүнслэг зүйлсийг сүнслэхээр тайлбарлаа. So God is a good father. Тэ бурхан бол үнэхээр сайн аав юу. But he does not drop things on us. Тэр тэр бид нрөө зүгээр юмсыг ингээд шидэд шидэдгүй. He gives wisdom in the context of a friendship of a walk on the way on the road. Тэгэд бид нарт мэрхэн ухааныг өгтөө түүнтэй хамт явж байгаа тэр алхаан дунд маань тэр найз нөхөрлийн тэр харилцаан дундаа бид нарт мэрхэн ухааныг өгдөг. So we have to pay attention. Бид анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. Because God is important, we are important, people are important. Тэр чухал Yeah. We have to pay what uh, we have to pay attention to wisdom. Бид нэр мэрэгэн ухаанд анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. And we have to pay attention to God's presence because it's in his presence we can get it. Оршууд анхаарлаа хандуулах хэрэгтэй. Ягаад хүн түүний оршууд бид нарт мэрэгэн ухаан өгдөн. That's what I said to you in a video I sent days ago that there is a there is a stage and there is a backstage. Би өрд нь явуулж исэн видео бичлэгээр ярьж исэн өмнө энэ дээр нөгөөний тайз гэж байна. Тайзны ард хөшгний цаанд болж байгаа үйл явдал гэж байна. And and God wants to give us access to his backstage. Харин бурхан тэр хөшгний цаанд юу болж байгааг бид нарт мэдүүлэхийг хүсчихэв. To his intimacy, to his closeness. Тэр өөрийн тэр дотн байдлаа бид нарт өгөхийг хүсчихэв. because that's the place where wisdom is spoken. Яагаад гэвэл тэр газар л мэрэгэн ухаан яригддаг. That's why the church has to stay close to him because that's the place where the church will receive wisdom. Ийм болохоор сүм бурхантай тийм тэр газар очиж бурхантай тэр нарийн харил нандин харилцаатай болох хэрэгтэй. Most Christians are living on the stage but have very little access to backstage. Маш их христчид бол тайзан дээр амьдрдаг. Маш цөөгнөн тэр тайзны ард байгаа зүйл рүү орох хэрэгтэй. That's why they are unstable. Тийм болохоор тэдгээр христчид бол тогторгүй. That's why they can easily be deviated. Маш амархан гажхтай амархан байдаг. That's why they are easily worried about everything. Тийм болохоор тэд нэр бүх зүйл дээр маш амархан санаа зовдог. But we, we must not we should have access to backstage. Бид нэр харин тийм байх ясгүй. Ягаад гэвэл бид нар хөшгний цаан ордог байх хэвээр. Аха. Let me show you this. Matthew chapter 7. What is that? Мата 7-р бүлэг. Matthew chapter 7. Jesus is speaking about it. Аха. Uh-huh. What is it? Matthew 7. Yeah, Matthew 7. Mm-hmm. Not everyone who's uh, verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. Намайг эзэн минь эзэн минь гэсэн болгон тэнгэрийн хаачлалд орохгүй. Харин тэнгэрт байгаа миний эзхийн хүслийг биелүүлдэг хүн орно. So he says, my Father is in heaven. Тэгэхээр Есүс энэ дэлж миний эцэг тэнгэрт байгаа. He is invisible, he is in the unseen world. 
The kingdom of heaven is not visible, it's invisible. But everyone who does the will of my father will enter the kingdom of heaven. Now to do the will of the father who is in heaven, we must have access to heaven. That's the backstage. Verse 22. On that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do, mighty, and do many mighty works in your name? Тэр өдөр надад олон хүн эзэн минь эзэн минь бид таны нэрээр иш үзүүлж таны нэрээр чөтгөрүүдийг хөөж таны нэрээр олон гайхамшигтыг үзүүлж байсан биш билүү гэж хэлэв. That's people being on the stage. За эдгээр хүмүүс олвол яг нөгөө тайзан дээр илт байгаа тэр хүмүүс. The prophesied, they cast out demons, there were mighty works and miracles. Бид нэр гайхамшигтыг бүтээж эс үзүүлж чөтгөрүүдийг хөөж байсан тэдгээр хүмүүс but then Jesus said to them, I don't know you. Which means, I am backstage, but mm. I don't know you because you have never been backstage. My father does not know you, I don't know you. But look, Jesus, what is happening on the stage? Don't you see that? Don't you hear that? Yeah, he can see that. He can hear that. He said to them, I don't know you. I never knew you, he even said. And then he continues, 20, verse 24. Everyone then, so then means he's connected to the previous verses. Mm -hmm. Everyone then who hears these words of mine, and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Which means everyone who has access to me on backstage, to the invisible. And hear my words. And do them. His house will be unshakable. Whatever, whatever happens on the stage, the wind, the rain, the earthquake, the virus, virus the financial crisis, Financial challenges. Unemployment. Whatever happens on the stage, the, the house will not be shaken. Because because this man has been backstage to hear my word, to, to receive my wisdom. And he built that his life on that wisdom. He will not be shaken. Maybe he will be wet because of the rain. Maybe he will be, in a way, shaken but not collapse. 
Тэгээ салхинд ч жоохон чичирсэн байж болно. Гэхдээ нураагүй. Now let me give you one more verse. За би бас нэг ихтэй үгүй. Hebrews chapter 6. Еврэ 6. Я. Hebrews chapter 6 verse 19. Еврэ 6 гэн. We have this we have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf having become a high priest forever Өмнө маан тавигдсан найдварыг барьж авахаар хорог дах газар руу гүй ихч зугтаа ахч гэж юм бид бурхны хувьд худал айлдах боломжгүй хоёр өөрчлөг төшгүй зүйлээр дамжуулан хүчтэй урам авахын тулд тэгжээ. So uh, he says we have a sure hope, we have a steadfast hope. In who nature? In is like an anchor for our soul. Битэн сэтгэлийн зангуу мэд байдаг бөгөөд гэж. Because our soul can go up and down. According to what happens on the stage. Тайзан дээр юу болж байна вэ гэдгээс шалтгаалаад бидний сэтгэл тогтворгүй савлаж болно. But we have an anchor behind the curtain. Харин бидний зангуу болол хөшөгний цаана байх хэвээр. In God's backstage. Бурхан байгаа газар байх хэвээр. Where there is peace and righteousness and joy and hope and future. Тэнд найдвар ирээдүй зүвт байдал баярхуур амар тайван тэнд байдаг. And that's an anchor for the soul. Тэр бол таны сэтгэлийн зангуу юм аа гэж хэлж. An anchor is what a ship has. Тэн зангуу бол нөгөө завинд байдаг. So when the storm is violent and the waves are high. Тэ маш ширүүн салхи шуур гарах үед the sun set down the anchor into the invisible underwater. The ocean door hard to the water so no zango was shifted. You can have two ships on the water. The ocean door higher than that is just hot. The storm is the same. The yagil nigga is not sure to catch it. The waves are the same. The tide is the same. The winds are the same for both. But one of them has an anchor into the invisible. You cannot see the anchor. Then, ta, usne tar baga ter zango kharchat ko yagat kewel ter zango chun har. The other one has none. Thega nigin zango ta nigin zango go baisa gichat ko. One is stable. Nigin doctor ta. The other one is not. Nugut ko nazar sahi shorgan khokte ta. Maybe maybe both are shaking, but one is. Still in the same place. Магадгүй хоёулаа нөгөө нэг ингээд анхаж болох боловч тэр зангуутай байгаа газраа доктортой үлдэн. So sometimes our lives can shake. Заримдаа бидний амьдрал ингэж анхдаг. Гэхдээ зүгээр юм. If we have an anchor. Ирвэ таны зангуу тэр нөгөө харагдахгүй газраа цоогцсон байгаа бол зүгээр. Actually the Hebrew says that in the last days God will shake everything. Еврей номон дээр ингэж бичсэн байна. Эцсийн өдрүүдэд бурхан бүх зүйлийг сэгсрэх болно гэж. He will shake heaven, he will shake the earth. Бүр мөнхий улсыг бас газар дэлхийг сэгсрэх болно. What can be shaken will be shaken and what is unshakable can stand. Сэгсрэгдэх ёстой бүх зүйл нь сэгсрэгдэх болно, а сэгсрэгдэхгүй тэр зүйлүүд нь үлдэх болно гэж хэлсэн. So. Тийм болохоор we have to pay attention. We have to because God is God and our lives are important. Number two, we have to pay attention to wisdom. We have to pay attention to wisdom. That's why we go to church Sunday morning or on live stream or on Zoom. Тийм зарим тийм болохоор бид нар тахт бүтэн сайн өдрийн өглөө болгон сүм дээр очих хэрэгтэй бас ийм төрлийн уулзлуудыг хийж байна. Because we we know we need help. Мэдээж бид нар тусламж хэрэгтэй гэдэг бид нар мэднэ. But we need more than help. We need wisdom for life. Нэр тусламжаас илүүгээр бидний утгацааны энэ амьдралын туршид бид нар мэрэгүү ухаан хэрэгтэй. Because pastors like me, pastor Sulda, pastor Bagi 
Тэгм пастор би одоо пастор сувд баги We know from experience. Бид нэр туршилгаараа юу мэддэг вэ гэхээр that people can receive a lot of help without changing their way. Яагаад гэвэл хүмүүс маш их тусламж авсан хэрнээсээ өөрчлөгдөөгүй тийм олон хүмүүс байдгийг бид нар мэднэ. We help them, God helps them, everybody helps them. Бурхан дээр туслан хүмүүс туслан бид нар туслан тэгсэн нөгөө хүн нь өөрчлөгддөг. But they still walk on the same road. Тэгэл нөгөө яг явж ясан тэр адилхан замаараа л яваддаг. And on that road more will happen. Continue to happen. Тэгэхээр нөгөө яваад байгаа зам нь өөрчлөгдөхгүй байгаа учраас нөгөө тохиолдоод байгаа зүйл нь тохиолдол байдаг. But if we go backstage into God's presence and we see wisdom, we will our ways will change. Харин бид нэр хөшгөний цаана ороод бурхны оршгууд ороод үнтэй уулзах юм бол бидний явах зам өөрчлөгдөх байх. So this season is a good season in a way. It's a difficult season but it's a good one. Ин үе маань магадгүй хэцүү байгаа ч гэсэн харин би маш сайн үе гэж би бодож байна. Because we find out if we are stable or not. If we are if we are if we have an anchor or not. Энэ нь бид нарт юу гэлчилж байна вэ гэхээр энэ одоо энэ цаг үе маань бид нарт тэр замгуугаа тавьсан юм уу гүй юу замгуу байна уу гүй юу гэдгийг шалгаж байгаа тийм үе байна. So there was a call in that in this season. Тэгэхээр энэ үе одоо энэ цаг үед чинь бид нарт дуудлага гэж байна. It's not condemnation, it's a call. А энэ бол буруутгал тий condemnation үед чинь. Буруутгал. Буруутгал биш энэ бол зүгээр дуудлага юм бид нарт өгсөн. God does not condemn us. Бурхан бидний буруутгаагүй. Even if we are weak and unstable and confused. Бид нэр төөрч бодилсан цул дараа тийм байсныг бурхан бидэг буруутахгүй. But he calls us to pay more attention. Харин бидний дууд чинь өвшөө илүү анхааралтай байгаа чи гэдэг дууд чинь. He calls us to join him backstage so he can talk with us. Тэр бидний хөшгөний ард дууд чинь тэгээд бид нартай ярихыг хүсэж байгаа юм аа. He calls us to strengthen our foundation. Бидний сүрийг илүү хүчрэхэд болгохын тулд бидний дууд чинь He calls us to throw our anchor behind the curtain again. Тийм төшгөний ард бид нэр зангуугаа шидэчээ гэж бид нэрийг дуудаж байна. He calls us to connect deeper with our fathers and brothers and sisters in the house. Өргөнд байгаа эцгүүд болон ахтуу нарт байгаа улам мэдлүү гүн харилцаатай болоочээ гэж бид нэрийг дуудаж байна. So there is no condemnation. Энэ бол буруутгал бол биш. Тэр бид ялгч байгаа юм биш ээ харин дуудж байгаа маа гэдэг. Ялгч байгаа юм биш ээ харин дуудж байна. But in all these shakings тэгэхээр энэ бүх сэсрэлтүүд God is calling us to come closer. Бидний өөртөө улам илүү ойр тулах гэж дуудж байгаа дуудлага гэсэн үг. Because he has not kept hidden wisdom from us but for us. Тэр биднес мэрэгөө ухааныг бол нуугаагүй харин бидний төлөө мэрэгөө ухааныг нууж байгаа маа. Amen. Amen. So Amen. there will be more storms in the future. Тийм тэгэхээр шоу ирээдүйд бол салхи шуургууд байх болно. That's okay. That's the stage. Тийм энэ чинь бол нөгөө нэг тайз учраас үйл явдлууд болно шуурах бидний. If we have connection to backstage. Харин суу хөшгөний ард бид нэр хол холбоо тогтоо чадах юм бол lies will be calm and stable. Бид нэр маш тайван тэгээд тогтортой байх болно. And people in the world. Харин дэлхий дээр байгаа хүмүүс whose life are shaking. Тэдний амьдрал сэсрэгдэхэд they have no anchor for their soul. Яагаад гэвэл тэд нар зангуу байхгүй учраас they will seek you. Тэдгээр хүмүүс зангуутай таныг хайдаг болно. Because they saw you at work. Яагаад гэвэл тэд нар ажлын газраа таныг харсан. They saw you in the supermarket. Илгүүрт явж байхдаа таныг харсан. They have seen your children that they are peace, they are not suicidal. Таны хүүхдүүдийг харсан, таны хүүхдүүд ямар амар тайван байгааг хараад тань рүү ирэх бол. And when their lives is shaking so much, they will they will find you. Тэдний амьдрал маш их ингэж ганхаж сэсрэгдэж ингэж ганхаж ирэх үед тэд нар таныг хайж ирэх болно. They will knock at your door. Таны хаалгыг бүр тогшох болно. 
even people in high positions. Because even the high positions are not safe anymore. Even rich people have no safety in their finances. In Denmark now, big companies are bleeding, almost dying, little by little. They were safe until two months ago. But we have been working with him through the years. We have been backstage with him, alone with him, face to face. We have been in church and listening to the fathers. Excuse me, who, who are yeah. We receive wisdom. So there will be storms, but don't worry. Don't even worry for your children. I even, I even saw the small baby before. <laughs> Don't worry for the baby. But make sure you raise the baby in wisdom and truth. Because they will become shining stars in darkness. They will become an anchor in the storm. There will be a different generation, a distinctive generation. Amen. Amen. Why pay attention? Because God is God. He's in charge. Because we, God has invested in our lives, we are important. Pay attention because people around you are important to God. That's why we must pay attention. Now, what to pay attention to? Wisdom. Where is the wisdom? Backstage. He's in his intimacy. That's why Hebrews 11 says, The visible things comes from the invisible. Are you with me? Yes. That's why people will ask, how can you be so calm? Not because of the visible, it's because of the invisible. <laughs> we know our Father, we know the Son of God. We know the Holy Spirit. None of them are visible. We know truth. Truth is not visible. It is invisible. But in our lives, we manifest truth. So the invisible becomes visible. So be of good courage. Mongolia, in Germany, in Korea, Switzerland, in Canada, in America, wherever the Mongolians are, in the Czech Republic, <laughs> the descendants of Genghis Khan are everywhere. <laughs> but we are descendants of the Son of God, first of all. 
are the sons and daughters of the God of heaven and earth. We carry his DNA, his genes. Christ is in us. Amen. Amen. So be of good courage. Stay righteous, stay at peace, be joyful. Walk with him, walk together, talk together. And uh, and sleep well tonight. <laughs>